Hi, this is Bob from WAMS Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Google Drive functionality within the iOS 11 Files app. For those of you who have not yet updated to iOS 11, you probably haven't missed this feature because you hadn't seen it, but um, between today, September 29th, and when iOS 11 had originally come out, you weren't really able to do much with Google Drive within the Files app here. You were able to see your Google Drive, you could browse around a little bit, but you didn't have very much functionality in terms of opening up files and drag and dropping and that kind of thing. However, now with the recent update, you now have a more natural feel of viewing your Google Drive and working with your Google Drive files within the Files app here. Let me show you some of the improvements. So first off, as you might notice, I can actually see my Google Drive right here within the Files app. I can switch between the thumbnail view like you see here and list view. So it's easier to see maybe my files all at once. I can create new folders on the fly. So if I want to create a new file within my Google Drive, I can. I can sort my files here by name, by date, by size, or by tags iOS 11 may give you some preset colored tags here on the left hand side, but if they don't, you can always create new tags. For example, if I wanted to tag all of my important spreadsheets that I'm using for uh, updating iPads and updating student accounts, I could tag them that way. All I have to do is long press on a file and then choose tags from the menu. I can select an existing tag or I can create a new tag. So I'll select add new tag. I can choose what color I want and then give it a title. Okay, and now I see that this was recently updated. So now when I, when I sort by tags, anything with a tag will be on top and anything otherwise will be below. I can also add files to the tag instead of long pressing. I can take it and I can actually drag it over to the tag which I want. So I can quickly find the files that I want to add and drag them to the correct tag. Where it gets even more interesting is that now I can take folders that I have within my Google Drive and add them to my favorites on the left-hand side here. Previous to this update, you were only able to add iCloud folders to favorites, but now you can add Google Drive. Where this becomes extremely useful in the classroom is if you have a shared Google Drive folder with a student that you're using as like a Dropbox for assignments or projects, now they can add those folders to their favorites and then they can quickly drag and drop items from their files directly into that folder. For example, if I needed to find an image of, let's say, apples and add it as an assignment to that folder, now in iOS 11, I can find my image and then drag and drop it directly into that Google Drive folder. Likewise, if I'm working on a project, maybe it's something in pages, right now I can send a copy. I can make it a PDF, let's say. And now I have the ability to save to files. It's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. One of those options is now Drive. And I can choose which place to save it to. If I simply select iCloud Drive, then in the Files app, when I go to my iCloud Drive, here's my report. And I can quickly drag and drop it to the shared folder. So in summary, the Files app, which was already an awesome feature in iOS 11, now becomes even more functional with the native Google Drive functionality within the app. If you need any help, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. Thanks for watching.